welcome to Walk the Talk. Our today's guest was born and brought up in Sikkim, but today stands as a successful fashion designer in Nepal. From top models to celebrities, everyone has been clad in his design. Let me please welcome Tenzing Zetan Bhutia. Hi Tenzing. Hi Malvika. How are you? All good. How you been? All good. All good. So Tenzing, apart from your name or what you do, how would you like to describe yourself? Um, let's say single and rocking. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. What was your nickname in school and college? Um, my family they call me Tenzu, I guess. Most of my friends as well, I guess. Okay. So except in this, there is nothing as such. Nothing much. Okay. What do you think is best feature in your body? Um, I would say my hair, I guess. Do you have a hair routine? Uh, nothing of that sort. I just do like a couple of uh, hair treatment here and there. Sometimes like the basic stuff, shampoo and conditioning, I guess. Oh? Mm. Okay, nice. Single or committed, which suits Tenzing better? Single always. You, how long has it been that you've been single? I guess that was like long time back. Yeah. I mean, like, it has been that long. I know, right? Yes. Wait, are you scared of commitment? Sort of, yeah. I have, I have, like, I, I like to, I like to be alone most of the time. Like, I'm not lonely. I have my friends to tag along, but then, yes, I love to live alone. Why is that so? I mean, it's just that, I mean, it, let me defocus. I mean, sometimes relationship, like, gets into your work and sometimes it gets into your personal life. So, you know, sometimes it's like, it gets hectic. Do you think so? Yes. Okay, anyway, one dish that you can eat rest of your life? Oh, right now, I, I'm um, eating momos all the time, I guess. Most mm. of the Nepalese are, right? Yes. <laughs> and Sikkimis uh, also, right? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh. Do you know how to cook? Yes, I do. You A do? little bit here and there, like I know the basic stuff. Okay, so what do you cook best? Um, I don't know. I'm, I, people say that I cook dal very well. Oh, yes, nice. yeah. I mean, nice. I have a special recipe for that. Okay. I'll share it with you later. Okay, not in the camera, right? Though. <laughs> okay. What quality of your partner turned you on when you were in a relationship? Um, the qualities that I'm, I'm not very specific about qualities, but then, like, let's say intelligence, I guess. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of brain. That yes. would do magic. Mixture of everything. Yes. Right? <laughs> okay. uh -huh. What is the meanest message you have ever received? Meanest message? Um, I don't know. Um, like in terms of my work, like people say like I copy her and there. So, I, you know, sometimes I get that a lot, I guess, you know. So, I mean, that really doesn't bother me at all right now. What is the sweetest message you have ever received? The sweetest would be like, oh, you are my inspiration. There are so many actually. Um, I'm very humble, very down to earth and very creative, like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Right. If you were to wake up as a girl one day, what would be the first thing you do? <sighs> girl, I, I haven't even imagined that in my life. Um, I know, pretty much dress up, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Being okay. a designer, yes. Okay. What would your perfect Saturday be like? Saturday will be like all about rest because I'm working most of the days, like, you know, during the weekdays. So, I mean, Saturday would be more like for me time, you know, so I would rather like, you know, have in my own zone rest, watch a movie, I guess, Netflix and stuff. Ah, are you a movie buff? Yes, I am. What was the recent watch? The recent was, uh, I just watched this documentary about children, like they get like getting into a cult, like, you know, as a punishment, doing over those drugs and all those stuff. Yeah, I love documentaries. Oh, okay, nice. What's the most useless talent you have? We know you're very talented, but anything that's useless. Ah, useless. I mean, I mean is there a talent that's useless? I don't know. I can jump, I guess. Okay, uh, that, that's know. a useless talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Like jumping on your own without any reason, I okay. think that would be useless, I guess. Okay, anyway. Mm. What's your biggest fear? Biggest fear is like um, heights and water. Oh, you are? Yes. Okay, so uh, are you into swimming and all? No, I no. don't know how to swim. Is it so? <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Um, Why, has there been any incident? Yes, uh, in my childhood, like, you know, when I was like playing with my friends, they tried to, you know, prank me and then they tried to sort of drown me. I was like, you know, still then like, after that, like, you know, it has not been very a uh, joy ride for me oh, with water, okay. yes. Okay, okay. What is the craziest thing you have done in college? How mischievous were you? You don't seem to be, but... 
uh, craziest thing that I've done in college. Um, I know I used to dress up a lot. I used to wear like wacky clothes in uh, during my college time, and people used to love me. That's how like you know I get into fashion actually. Right. Uh -huh. You know they used to tell me like, oh you have a very different sort of unique tacky or I don't know unique style. So you know why didn't you get into designing? And that's how I. It really took serious in like, you know, what designing is all about. I started doing research on that as well. Okay, yes. okay, nice. How old were you when you had your first celebrity crush and who was it? Oh, seriously, I don't really have a celebrity crush. No. Don't lie. Seriously, I mean, I, I, people get fabergasted, like, you know, when looking at the people or like looking at the idol or whatever, like, you know, but then I, ne I, get, I never get intimidated by, you know, people. I mean, they are like, you know, they are very much normal like me. So, I mean, I really don't get like, you know, a fan girling or a fan kind of moments that, you know, people usually do. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice. Very strange for me, I guess. No, no that, that's very <laughs> honest of you to say all those things. Yeah, anyway, what's the weirdest dream you have ever had? Weirdest dream? Oh, I mean, sometimes like, you know, I mean, it, it gets like, you know, it really gets into the nerves, like, you know. Um, like someone trying to like, you know, um, hold me down, pin me down in bed, you know, um, something like very like, you know, traumatizing, like, you know, I mean, I know maybe how it sounds, but then, yeah, those are the ones like, you know, someone trying to pin you down. Right. Are, are those dreams repetitive? Repetitive? No, 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 no. Sometimes I do get those kind of weird. Sometimes I do get like, the, I, I really don't like snakes, so, you know, getting in my dreams is like kind of scary as well right. and sort of weird for me I guess I don't know why what song always gets you out on the dance floor there's no not particular songs that really gets me but then you know you have those um, tunes that you can really like you know uh, move into like you know especially those 70s 90s song uh -huh, right okay what's the worst lie you ever told as a kid worst lie um, I don't know getting sick Getting sick, yeah, not to not go, go to, to school. school yes. Okay. <laughs> what was the best vacation you ever took and why? I think the one that I visited when I visited Thailand and that was like amazing. I did a lot of shopping, fabric shopping. So even though like it's vacation, vacation, but then I tend to like, you know, I couldn't help it like buy fabrics, tons and tons of fabrics. Right, okay. Is there one job you've never ever do? One job that I'll never ever do. Um I know, waiting on people, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Who do you admire the most in the world? Who do I admire? Um, there are lots of people. Um, I really admire His Holiness the Dalai Lama. I um, admire uh, designers, a lot of designers. What's the last thing you do at night? What's the last thing I do? Um, I watch lots and lots of movies on Netflix, yes. When was the last time you cried and why was it so? Oh, I think you know, the last time I cried, I mean, it has to be like, you know, me watching any romantic Korean dramas, I guess. Oh, it'll get into <laughs> tears. <laughs> yes, okay. yes, it does. What's your go-to midnight snack? Um, that would be YY, I guess. Okay. What's the most ridiculous outfit you have ever worn? Oh, I'm ridiculous all the time. No. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, I wear wacky clothes all the time. Most okay. Of the time. Are you into sports? No. Not, not at, at all. all? Not at all. Never have been? Never. Anything that you'd like to play? I uh, Let's say badminton, table tennis, I guess. Okay. What's something your family would be surprised to learn about you today? Hmm, there are a lot of secrets. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Would you like uh, to open something... one secret? Hmm. I don't know. Um... Nothing comes to your mind at the moment. It's just that thing you don't want to share in front of the camera. That's the truth, right? Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, something, um, something not very embarrassing, you know. Okay. I mean, um, let's keep it like secret for now. So yes, we are in conversation with Ending Seth and Bhutia. We'll be back, but only after this short commercial break. Welcome back. We are in conversation with Tenjing Seth and Bhutia. Welcome once again. Thank you so much. So, uh, in the previous segment, we got to know about you. Now we want to talk about your work, right? Okay. Uh, we know you as a fashion designer, one of the established fashion designer in Nepal. Uh, let's talk about that. How long has it been? <sighs> it's been like almost like more than a decade, I guess. Yeah. So I've been like 
Um, my career has been like a roller coaster ride. It's been up, it's sometimes it's down. So, you know, I'm just coping up with that. And since you know the market in Nepal, like it's kind of small, you know, so they can't live on it. Like, especially when the kind of design that I do, like, you know, a specific sort of client that I'm targeting. So, I mean, sometimes it does get difficult. So many topics of success that they have, uh, right? But definitely, to success, pawn will like a struggle. Pani dheere ne gorne bago thiola. We would like to know about your struggling days. So struggle, Garda I mean, um, you don't know much. Khase town then is like, you you are just moving in one piece, ma. Na tar kahile struggle gare kuch ha ha na tiyo. Ali kati. Garun, there is a to figure it out, you know, because you are constantly working all the time. But then struggle, it's like once and kindly say you'll come to know when success comes, right? Okay, when success comes, that kindly say then you know that okay, if this is success, then oh, those were my struggles. Like you know, I really struggled during those times, but so yes, the struggling has been there, and then yeah, I've been there. As I said, like once and life, uh, my work has been like once and my work, my life has been like a roller coaster ride. It's sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. Definitely. We know that you were born and brought up in Sikkim. Yes, yes. Nepal topic of karma gumi kasari unu pugyo. Ah, so I think so. I I believe in destiny. Just like that. Okay, kina bani. When I was studying Bangalore, ma, you know, the developer said I was doing an internship, and there was this friend of mine. Um, waha ko the uncle se ya eta Nepal ma he runs a factory. She asked me if I would be interested. To go to Nepal and work there, and since I was doing internship with her, and I saw like concerning maybe it's destiny, like you know, why not? If if someone is calling you, then I think you should go and grab that opportunity. So that's how I uh, landed ended up, here. Yeah, I ended up here in Nepal. Okay. Years. And well, since then, there's no looking back. Right, right. So two bella, did you have? Any doubt? Should I go? Should I stay back? Because definitely, India mother, the market is quite huge, hai na? Nepal mother, when you started, worker shuru madre hunde thiu thiu bola fashion industry bhonum na Nepal ko. Was there any doubt? Um, there wasn't doubt coming to Nepal, but then uh, once I reached here, then you know I was like was struggling. Like, okay, there's no fashion scene here in Kathmandu. Definitely, so, definitely. Like, you can count designers like oh. Hatmai, like Kunsani. They were like known two or three designers. Those designers were not actually a designer, but then they were sort of a boutique owner, yeah, banana, or let's say a retailer, like Kunsani, the one who gets stuff from. And Thailand and sells it over here, which looks like a designer wear, but then it it's actually not their own design or their own brand, Banumna. So it was a quite quite a struggle after coming here. So uh, Tenzing, we know about your work, we have seen your work, but mm. we don't know much about your childhood. Mm -hmm. We would definitely love to hear about it. How was your childhood? How were you as a kid? Oh, I used to be like my parents were like you know they were like very much. Um, um, after you regarding studies, Banumna. So I used to be very studious. Uh, I, I I was more introvert. I'm more I I rather keep things to myself than to go on and talk to other people regarding. Uh, since uh, till college life, someone is to buy right you. I know. After college, say I have become a little bit more like on Sunday. Uh, Ali byra khulne, bolne, and since you become a designer, then when you start giving interviews, at this point, say then you know it became like you know habit. We want to know more about your family. Who all are there? How were you raised? What it was like? Oh, okay. So we are a big family. We have six brothers and sisters. Is it yes. so? Yes, and okay. uh, my single mom. Uh, from the guy, yes. Are you okay? Uh, uh -huh. From uh, my dad uh, passed away when I was like 11 years old, and then my single mom, she have raised us all, so it was quite a hardship. So that's why, like, I couldn't ever even like you know uh, complain. But I'm not just say uh, to throw tantrums. I couldn't be able to do that because I know how my mom really worked hard to raise us all up. You know. So let's talk about now. I listen to is a pipeline, ma. Uh, I've been uh, working on. Uh, let's, there's nothing like pipeline bonne. Khasi mere life ma se it's not there just like that. Kino bonne opportunity bonne bonne zaili bonne aunu sahne reisa hai na. So I keep on working on creativity and my work all the time. So you never know when it's gonna come, when it's gonna shine. 
you know, when the opportunity is going to be there, you know. So I keep on working hard. You know? So right now I'm dealing because since it's wedding season, so I'm doing lots of client co client co orders. Or I'm a little bit busy with that. And this, I'm in between, like I do like shoots here and there, like okay. here and there. So, yeah. go right right. Right. Yes. so yes, uh, Tenzing, it's time for a short break once again. We'll continue our conversation, but only after this break, right? Yes. Okay. Please be back with us. Welcome back. We are up with our final segment that is Never Have I Ever, where I'll be asking a few Never Have I questions to Tenzing and he'll be answering those questions with explanation. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay my first question is Never Have I Ever had fantasies about my friends? Friends? Yes. Oh, oh th that's gosh. quite a long pause. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like how many. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's say yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you have yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever shouted at my mom. Shouted at my mom. Yeah, I mean, angrily, like when you're a kid, you know, you shout back at your mom, like, you know, why are you doing this to me and all this stuff. Yes, I did, yes. As a kid? Yeah, as a kid. Okay. Not now. Okay. I cannot. Never have I ever believed something was haunted. Haunted? I know, the place that I live, sometimes I feel like, oh, someone's watching me. Oh, you do? So, yeah, but then, I mean, I mean, it's never there, you know. Uh -huh. So, uh, just d two days back, like, you know, um, uh, and it was like, you know, they have this music which gets on and then you have this baby go songs and all the stuff. Suddenly, like midnight, ma, it started like, there was sound coming. Ke? Oh. Uh, so I thought like, where is coming from? And what's the bite I say? got the bite I had you. And bite it, you were bored. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. And I was like so scared to even go out oh. and like <laughs> unsan, off guard nipani, like right. unsan, so I switch on all the lights and hey. lights up on guard era, and then like baira go era, and then check no one's there, the gate is locked and all the stuff and then oh, I you still on. managed to go out? Yes, I, I have to because like okay. it was ringing constantly, you know. Right. It was somewhere around like 11.30. Oh my god, that was, that's <laughs> quite scary. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> okay. right? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> moving mm. on. Never have I ever had an allergic reaction to medicine. No. No? No, I love medicine. Oh, don't I can, tell yes. Me <laughs> yes. Why, why do you love medicine? <laughs> I enjoy medicine all the time. Like, you know, I mean, it's like the painkiller and everything. Like, even if okay. I have the slightest pain, uh -huh. I just take it. I know it's not good. It's not good. Yeah, yeah I know right. it's not good. But then I cannot suffer. Okay. Yeah, when I'm working, especially. Right. Never have I ever hugged someone who actually wanted to shake hands. Oh yeah, many yeah. times, yes. It's quite embarrassing, <laughs> right. I guess, like, you know. So, uh, I didn't know the do's and don'ts of, like, when to hug and what not, when not to hug Banera, you know. So now I'm more careful. So what I do is, the best thing is, you don't hug people. Right. Let people come and hug, hug you. you. <laughs> so that's the best option okay. that you have. Okay, moving on. Never have I ever talked to myself. I do sometimes, yeah. Not all the time, but then, I mean, it might sound very psycho, you know, when you're talking to yourself in public. But then, yes, I mean, alone, when I'm alone, then, you know, in my room, like, I tend to say, like, Tenzin, you can do this. Tenzin, yeah. like, you know, I do talk to you, you myself. You motivate yeah. yourself. Yeah. That's needed also, yeah. right? Okay. Never have I ever tried sexy poses in front of the camera. Oh, I do all the time, I guess. You do? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. like not in public, as okay. I said, but then yes, uh -huh. in front of mirror, uh -huh. like, like, you know, you try to, you know, it's a little intimidating and uh -huh. like see yourself, like which looks good on you, whatever. Right, yes, right. I have tried that. Okay. Never have so I... All, I'm getting all I have, right? That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I would Gosh. love to hear all these answers. Okay. Never uh, have I ever forgotten how old am I? I never keep track of my age because yeah. I really don't want to, you know, age. age that's, uh -huh. the, that's the scariest thing, you know, I mean. Um, you're scared. I know, yeah, I know, like, you know, I mean, once you're born, then you have to, like, you know, somehow, somewhere, like, you have to, uh, you your life ends, world, yeah. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm quite scared about the age, the aging, especially when it happens. Okay. Never have I ever drunk dialed my ex. Drunk dial my ex. Ah, oh, maybe once I guess. Only like not once? all the time. Yeah, not all the time. And do I'm you not... remember what did he say? Um, I don't know why did it happen or what went wrong or some questions maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Never have I ever screamed because of a scary movie. Scream? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. 
so normally what I do with horror movies is like I don't watch it alone. Oh, okay. So I have uh -huh. to have friends with me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, 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 screaming man, I I put myself like blanket man. So I try to like you know watch like this. It's a real movie. Yeah, yeah. I have to see it. Like what's happening man? Okay. So I do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Never have I ever had an embarrassing hairstyle. Embarrassing hairstyle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not at the moment. But then now, when I look back, you know, I used to have this Ashiki hairstyle. Why is that Salman Khan? Go. No, so not Salman Khan. Not your name. Ashiki Rahul Roy. Rahul Roy. Go. Yeah. Long time back. Yeah. So yeah, I used to have that. You know, it was very trendy and all the stuff. Now I look back and I was like, what the? I was thinking once. Okay. Okay. Was it that bad? I didn't know that. It was that bad. No, but I look so weird. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Never have I ever told a joke that no one else found funny. Oh, I am no, 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 no. My jokes are on point. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Every time when I joke around, or let's say uh, when I tell a joke, then you know, um, since we have this, I think when we are from Sikkim. You have the way of telling the jokes. Oh, right. So even if people don't laugh, you laugh yourself. Okay. So that if I laugh, then see, <laughs> right. you laugh, right? right? So I mean, there's oh. not a chance that people won't laugh at my okay. jokes. Okay, yeah, nice, nice, very nice. Okay, moving on. Never have I ever laughed at an inappropriate time. Yes. You have. Yeah. Not not the way when people. Uh, Say certain things, but sometimes, like when you're in a very, you know, um, uh, when you're in a conference or when you are, like, you know, in an event, you know, and some, some or the other, not the person who is actually hosting or doing something, but then some at the background, like, you know, people tend to do certain things which makes you laugh. Yes, and I have done that. Yeah, I have laughed, and people have like looked at me like, "What's happening, Vanera?" <laughs> okay. And moving on with the last question, and that is, never have I ever lied throughout this interview. Lied? Yeah. No, I have been. Not. No, okay. I have been very honest. See, I have opened up myself regarding my family. Like, there's nothing to lie about. But I thought that he didn't lie. Zati mm. Kura boy. I think he was very open with us. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for accepting our invitation. Thank you so much for having me. And there was a small gift from our side for ah, you since okay. you have provided us with your time. Oh, there is okay. a small. Okay. It's a mini canvas from Canvas to Nepal. Oh wow, that's me, like, right? Yes, that's you. Oh, when did you do that? Uh, just last night. <laughs> oh wow, this is so okay. pretty. And this is my favorite picture actually. Is it so? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Most thank welcome. You, thank you Canvas to Nepal as well. Thank you thank so you. much for being with us. So yes, it's time to announce the winner of last week and the winner is... Many, many congratulations. You have won yourself this yummy cake from Sweet Treats Cakery. With this, we are almost at the end of today's episode. But before we sign off, I would like to ask you the question for today. And the question is, do Tenzing talk to himself? If you have watched today's episode, you know the answer. Please drop in your answer and we'll be announcing the winner next week. Till then, keep watching AP1 HD. It's an AP1 presentation.